Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is Jerry here again with the reactions, and today we're going to be doing The Fly. Um, I've seen I've seen parts of this movie. I haven't, I haven't seen like the whole thing from beginning to end. I've just seen like little snippets here and there. Right? I mean, I think that's what you told me. That's the same thing you've seen. Yeah. Like, so same little. I yeah, mean, like I mean, I I mean, I know who's in it. No. I, uh, Jeff Goldblum, and um, obviously he turns into the Fly. I think we, uh, I think we all know that. I think, yeah. But I think, uh, just like how how, 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 it how it happens. happens. I've never seen the movie from beginning to end. Like sat down and watched it. I think I saw it one time in high school. They ran it, man. That's what I remember it in high school. Yeah, but it was just like something thrown like on a rainy day, and yeah, it was but just like whoever was paying attention. Shit, paying dude. Attention. That's the thing is, I don't know if high school, the, uh, what kind of high school you went to, man, but I don't think they would show you this type of movie, man. That's, it's, uh, a, it's very um, uh, body horror, kind of like the thing where, you know, it's body horror, like things are getting like dismembered and like. I think we had a gym out. teacher that time go by. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't care. He's didn't like, care. I'm just going to put this for his kids. I'll like, oh, put this for these kids. I think we got the P teacher for to be substitute teacher one day it's just put up the movie and damn just that's up. crazy man um i've just seen little pieces here and there because yeah. it's a very like it's um but i, I mean, heard jeff goldblum is like top notch in this movie yeah like like he's really good um i think um, this is a late 80s movie if not maybe mid 80s uh, i'll look it up and then i'll put it in the title but well, I mean that's I think I think even the guy that worked on the thing I could be wrong, whoever did the the visual effects the makeup stuff, I think he's the guy that did the fly. If not, I'll, I'm a, I'm gonna look like a dumbass, but I think because I've seen a few things from the movie, I'm like, whoa, how the hell did they do that? And it was the same thing like with the thing where I'm like, holy shit, dude, some of these effects look like super good. Um, as opposed like to today where we just use CGI for everything. Um, so I, I think it's the same guy, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, man, I think we're just going to get into it. I mean, this is going to be our legit like first time for me, at least watching the whole like from beginning to end. Like I said, I've never seen it. Um, and then we we're going to react to other movies. But I mean, we've, al we've already seen the thing. That's like my favorite horror movie. And I showed it to Big O over here um that's yeah that's my number one i think it's more like a gore body horror movie than it is like creepy scary it's more like visually like what you're watching is kind of crazy yeah. and it's a good like suspense thriller type of movie you know it's like who's who's the who's the alien and you're kind of just guessing who it, who it could be and then she just gets crazy my top has to be the Blair Witch Project, man. Oh like, yeah, the Blair Witch Project. Just the, just you know, it was back in the '90s, and everybody, you know, the, the whole thing was like, oh, it's well, real. When it's people true. were saying it was real, yeah. And it, it's really happening, and you watch it, and you see all the stuff going on. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. It really creeps you out, man. And and, and just um, the just the way they made it, like we had no music. It was just like from the camera, um, like very low budget, and I'm pretty sure they made a lot like. They made all the money they invested into that movie. They made it like maybe ten times, twenty times back, because that movie blew up and it was it was so good. And from there it spawned the paranormal, uh, what was it the Paranormal Activity movies, yeah. which were pretty cool when the, when they first came out. Also, yeah. And then as they progressed, they, they kind of got a little crazy. But but, to me, yeah, to me, Blair Witch is the one that creeped me the most out when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one is super uh, creepy. And we don't want to react to stuff that we've already seen. Like, we don't want to, like, put on a show like, oh, this is our first time reacting to The Exorcist when I've seen it already. Yeah. I think you've seen it, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's some YouTubers on there on, on YouTube that have seen it already. And they're doing, like, their first time reaction. And they're just acting like, they, like they're watching it for the first time. Oh. And we, I think, man, I don't know. Maybe. But I kind of don't want to do that, like, for movies that, that we've seen already. So, I mean, I, I kind of just threw some ideas of what we should watch. And The Fly was one that I had seen, like, 100%. So, I kind of wanted to sit down and, and check it out. And then, I think we're going to do, um, after this, Hellraiser 2. Because Bigel hasn't seen it. I've seen it. 
And I showed him the first one like a while back. And that one was fucking crazy also. Yeah, it was. With the with the pro the what is it called? The prosthetics? The prosthetics. Yeah, prosthetics. Like that and, and the story's kind of cool. Like I remember Hellraiser two builds on the on the lore of Hellraiser a little bit and I think the first two are the best and then after that it's just yeah, it's just it's kind of like Freddy, like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like the first two maybe are the, the good ones, and then the rest just get a little crazy. Maybe the first three, oh, wow. but even those we've seen already. Um, you know, another one that I want to check out, which I don't know if it's a horror movie or a scary movie, but I feel like it could be is Parasite. I haven't seen Parasite. I don't think I've seen it either. You've never seen Parasite? You told me about Parasite, the a the Asian movie. The, oh, Korea, oh, the Korean oh, movie. My bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that, that that one is not more? Is not is it suspense? Maybe it's, thriller? It's thriller. Okay. It's more than that. Uh, Would it fit like the overall? Oh, since it's October. Be more towards drama. Oh, it is. Okay. More towards like a drama. Like. So would it make sense to watch it this month since it's like for October? Nah. Oh, okay. Nah, I don't see what it. Cause it's well, more like a like a drama, like a like. A, I mean, yeah, more like a drama. Yeah, are there like creepy? Is there some creepy stuff that goes on? Maybe. Mm. Nah, I'll check it out. I'll check uh, it out maybe for November or something. But yeah, but it's, I wouldn't consider it like a like horror, like a main big horror type of movie. Right. It's more like uh, just drama, and um, yeah, just it's just a, like drama it's documentary like, type. Okay, well I'll put that um, one off, and then uh, I think the next one we'll catch is Hellraiser two. And then, uh, and then we'll come up with some movies that we haven't seen, or that one of us hasn't seen. Maybe the other one has, but we pretty much have seen like all the good ones that have come out, right? Pretty much. Well, like horror? I'm gonna say, like eighty percent of like the good horror films I think we've seen. Yeah. So maybe there's one out there that, like, if somebody knows that is not so mainstream that that maybe they think that we might not know recommend it to us but uh we've seen most of them few, man. but the fly i have not seen the whole thing so we're gonna check that out now just uh we'll just get into it all right so it's gonna be the fly forget what year but put it in the description all right let's do it what am i working on uh i'm working on something that'll change the world change it a lot or just a bit you'll have to be more specific what do you want me to be specific here in this room with uh Half the scientific community of North America eavesdropping. Is there another way? Man, this lady's this lady's really rolling up with this dude in some back alleys. <laughs> My man's rolls open a steel door and she just walks in, dude. Well, what do they do, the phone booths? Telephones. Here we go. Oh, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't wear jewelry. Mm-hmm. Keep your eye on the stocking. I don't think I get it. Your stocking has just been teleported. What's that? What you well, you want me to get the quotes right, don't you? Quotes? No, no, no. I thought this was personal. You can't write about this. And this is the most exciting thing I've ever seen. No, no, absolutely not. In fact, I'm going to have to ask you for that tape, please. You can't do that. Don't you dare write a story. Wait, come here. You What about your stock? Keep it for good luck. You must have made an impression. Your magician has followed you here. I'm Stathis Barnes. I'm the editor of Particle Magazine. Uh, Seth Brundle. Oh, I know who you are. He didn't seem... He wasn't impressed by your tape? <laughs> He's not ready yet. Seems to work okay. No, something important's missing. And your book will end with me transporting myself 15 feet through space from one telepod to another. That's what's really missing. Do the... <laughs> I was thinking they could have started off with a little, with those little test rats first instead of a chip. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, they should have started with the little lab rat. Oh god, dude, that's the face of defeat right there, dude. 
Jesus Christ, poor little monkey, man. No, these are clean. Uh, I change my clothes every day. Five sets of exactly the same clothes? Learned it from Einstein. This way I don't have to um, expend any thought on what I'm going to wear. I just grab the next set on the rack. By the way, that's why that's why in every video I wear a, dark, a black shirt. <laughs> Same yeah, reason, dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't gotta expect any thought on I, I want to wear. Cheeseburger. It's every video that everybody sees Someone. on this channel is I'm wearing a black shirt. That's why. I'm not wearing the same shirt. All right, Steve Jobs. <laughs> You're very cute. Ah, uh, here we go. Damn, dude, she she fell for my man's this quick. The guy didn't even do nothing, dude. What the hell? Sometimes you don't have to do all much, she, man. All she did... Damn. Oh, my back. Oh. See, this is, how, this is what he should have started with. It was just meat. These motherfuckers are eating teleported meat. Yeah. Now try this teleported half. Oh, are you serious? A monkey just came apart in there. Baboon. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> she just oh, ate it. She didn't oh. request. Okay, it's funny. I still don't get how she fell that fast for the guy, man. All right, that's a big loophole in my book right there. <laughs> big loophole in the movie. I should have known it. What are you Damn, doing dude, here? this guy's creeping up on her. I followed you. Don't you get it? I am finally onto something that's big, huge. Yeah? What? His cock? <laughs> uh, where, he's, like, he's like, don't Where is he me. getting all these monkeys, man? <laughs> Yeah, from your editor. I'm sorry. Somebody slipped it under the door. Oh, no. What? What's that? What's this supposed to mean? It means that I'm your editor and I'm shaping your material into a story. Your discovery is my discovery. Look, just keep me informed. All right? What about sex? Yeah, I'm not saying love or affection, just stress relieving sex. You and me. Uh, you're disgusting. <laughs> Staff is born is her old boyfriend. She's working for her old boyfriend. Now she runs out late at night to see him. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. Oh, man. I went through last night. You went through? Without testing the baboon? Are you sleeping with Stathis Barnes? What are you talking about? I don't know. I, don't, I just um, get that feeling. Can't be like, oh well, maybe this is something that he could do before. <laughs> he just, just never showed off. What's this? I don't know. It's, uh, it happens when you get older. Weird hair configurations. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Is that really? Not my new hair. What are you doing? I don't really think you want a body covered with these. I want you to go through. I'm going to teleport you as soon as possible, right now. What do I have to say? I'm not going to do it. You're a fucking drag. You know that? Drink deep. Or taste not the plasma spring. See what I'm saying? No, I'm just talking about sex <laughs> and penetration. I'm talking about penetration. I got a hundred bucks says I can beat either one. There's my hundred. And I get to take the lady home for the night if I win. Do I look like a hooker to you? Hey, come on, pal. Let's get it over with. Oh, shit. Or not? It's your turn. To do what? I want you to go through. No. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Why'd you scare her off? Jealous? You're changing, Seth. You look bad. Those 
weird hairs that were growing out of your back. I took them to a lab. The guy at the lab had trouble identifying them. He finally came to the conclusion that they were definitely not human. In fact, very likely insect hairs. Dude, no. Oh. <laughs> What's happening to me? Am I dying? There it is, fly, fly DNA. Hello. Seth, I've been trying to reach you. Where are you? Please come to see me. Please come now. I'm here. Stop. You were right. I'm diseased. A fly got into the transmitter pod with me that first time when I was alone. Oh, oh. what the? That's disgusting. Bro, oh, God. What the? your advice he's right don't you see it could be contagious it could turn into an epidemic you say if only i saw him show me seth no no up here oh oh look at this what's this <laughs> i don't know <laughs> what the hell solid food hurts so like a fly brundle fly Break down solids with a corrosive enzyme, playfully called vomit drop. I'm pregnant with Seth's baby. What do you want to do? Okay, she's expelling it. Yeah, it's coming out. Of, uh, I don't even think we're... Give us a push. You can push it out. Come on. You're a relic. Yes, you are. You can't deny it. <laughs> Artifacts of a bygone era. You have to leave now and never come back here. Have you ever heard of insect politics? Insects don't have politics. They're very brutal. No compassion. No compromise. We can't trust the insect. I'm saying I I'm an insect who dreamt he was a man and loved it. But now the dream is over and the insect is awake. Wait, so is she, is she really pregnant or not? Go. Let's do it now. Now? Wait. I want it out of my body now. Why do we have to run around in the dark like a Because I don't want it in my body. Do you understand me? I don't want it in my body. <laughs> Okay, what's the story? She's pregnant and she wants to have an abortion. In the middle of the night? We have good reason to think that this child will be deformed. Yeah, but in the middle of the night. Look, Brent, please. Is it your child? No, it's the child of a man who is deformed. You already killed Prendel. The baby might be all that's left of the real me. Please don't kill me. I can't have it. I'm afraid. Just oh, <laughs> What the? Oh. oh god, dude. No, don't. Don't, please. Please. I go there. You go there. We come together there.
<laughs> All right. Oh, what? Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> Dude, dead, man. Fuck. Damn. <laughs> The hell? What? He's like, what he is has parts on the pod? Oh, because the pod didn't have nothing, or what? That was gonna do it himself. Damn. <laughs> Man, this guy's. I got it probably the worst. You got it the worst, dude. No, 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 the fly got it the worst. No, you got put out of his misery, man. He's got a little nub for a little hand, and he's got a little nub foot, man. Like a pirate. He got, he got acid fucking poured on him, dude. All right, man. That was the fly, 1986. The fly. Which is it's it? grotesque. It's pretty it's crazy. Grotesque, man. Um, uh, <laughs> was was the guy Chris something that did the fly? Man, props to that guy. He, that thing looked crazy, dude. All the makeup, like before he turned into the, the actual fly, looked crazy. Um, I mean, what'd you think of the entire, entire film, bro? I mean, it's pretty much yeah, it was good. I mean, it's good. Um, Jeff Goldblum. I mean, that man just carried the whole movie with his acting. Uh, he was pretty good, huh? Yeah, I believe them, man. I believe I believe them. Uh... It was. He's pretty much yeah, yeah, and him and the and the girl pretty much. The, but I know, mean, there's some. There's some stuff say, here and there where some it's stuff like, like, like the romance seemed a little rushed. But that's what I'm saying, man. It was like that one scene. It was the one scene where she looked at his closet, and then out of nowhere, she's just already she's on him. It's like what. <laughs> Wait a minute, what the hell? Like, that was pretty fast. That was right. But that scene was like, um, it was a little too quick, I think. That, and then what else? Something else happened that was a little kind of kind of quick. It was happened to me, well, it was the, from figuring out that she had a baby in her, to, but it was, I, you know, you came to realize that that was all just from her to ending up trying an abortion table. Like, I mm. thought, I was like, wait, the fuck? That was, like, at least, like, six months. Yeah. Right? For, like, a baby. And, but but then it turns out it was just a flashback. No, it was a dream. It was a dream. Yeah. Dream, dream, dream. The dream sequence. So, it kind of... Yeah, I think the... Well, I wanted to say something about Jeff Goldblum's acting. It was the scene where uh, where he started talking about uh, uh, insect politics. Is that, is, is that what he said? Insect politics? Mm -hmm. Bug politics? Mm-hmm. That's when I was like, oh, man, this guy's really doing a pretty good job. At... I feel bad for him. Like, like that guy, I mean, damn, if you were in that position, you're turning into a bug. You're pretty much going crazy. And he lets her go. And then I think it's when he finds out that she's pregnant that he goes and to uh, goes to the hospital and pretty much kidnaps her. But that scene, that was that was where I was like, oh, man, this guy's really like deep to his role. Was... Yeah. He was saying, <laughs> oh, but well, he was just telling her that we're they're just aggressive by nature, and then, like, oh yeah, yeah, he said, uh, I like that, I like that he said, um, there's insect, they're you know, they're they don't have, um, man, I forgot the exact word, compassion. Word. Um, he's basically saying he's gonna lose all consciousness. He's saying that whatever happens, like at this point, it's forward, not gonna be him anymore. It's not gonna be him anymore because. He's pretty much just losing. Oh yeah, he said like there's no compassion, no compromise, and it's a very like violent world. Being a bug, I guess, and yeah, I think that's like in I think that's like the animal kingdom. That's how it is, you right. know. And it's just the food survival. chain, survival, food chain. Whoever's on top of the food chain is pretty much, you know, doesn't really have to worry about much. But um, you know, that that was a good little speech right there. 
that I liked. Um, but him and the, the 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 girl, man, the lady, um, they both. Came, it was pretty much them the whole movie. I like that was, this movie was kind of a low budget like premise. You know, a guy develops a teleportation machine or just trying to develop it. So it all takes place in that little warehouse and then in her apartment and they're kind of just telling the story. Yeah, and very I think, few. Yeah, it was just the way you very, very, very few sets, house, maybe the hospital locations. Office, yeah, a couple offices, but it's very like confined, like low. But bu- I don't know how low budget this movie was, but it seems like I think a lot of the money was spent on the visual effects, which was a good idea because, man, they were it's 2020 man and they to me they still look good oh yeah like him transforming into the fly with his little jaw came off <laughs> and his little eyes like popped oh, out yeah. like that was some good shit yeah and like prosthetics prosthetics is it prosthetics man i don't know if that's the word dude it like, feels like it's not makeup, but i don't know like makeup up prosthetics and... yeah i think that's what it is but i mean that shit was yeah, it was just on point. Look, it just feels more real when it's done that way. Uh like not not like nowadays where we use so much CGI. You could tell right away that it's computer generated. But when oh. it's done the way they did it, it feels real. It's like, dude, you it looked crazy and it looked nasty and 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 uh, you know, it, it believable. It, it felt believable. <laughs> you know, that shit looked so sick, man. It was it was gnarly. Um, but the story, like I'm saying, it's like very confined. It's um, kind of a simple story, but it was really, I think it was really well done, man. I've never seen the whole thing like that. Um, so seeing it from beginning to end, yeah, there's some things where I'm just like, okay, she fell for this guy real quick. I didn't see what the uh, attraction was between, no, between what she found in him that was attractive because he was kind of being a little creep. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, he, he pretty much picked her up from whatever the science thing was. Science, uh, uh, he thing was a nerd. Was. I mean, he was, no, yeah, he but was a pretty big nerd. But, but then I he mean, takes her to this like alley with these warehouses. I like, if I was her, I'd be like, fuck, I ain't going in there. This is weird. I'll come back here during the day, maybe with someone well, else. Same time, we're not Jeff Goldblum. Very funny. Yeah, but he didn't seem like he was like that suave in, in the movie. He was like a, a nerd, like a, you know, this guy, I don't know. But then again, we didn't really get too much of his, like, how good he was with his social skills in, in that place. So, yeah, we don't know. But I just didn't see. I didn't see what the, what the, what she found attractive. Right. Uh, I think that, I think that leave so a little far. bit more fleshing out. Yeah. But maybe it was due to time constraints, I guess, maybe. That, and then, okay, I remember what I wanted to say was that when she saw him again, when he looked like one of the zombies from Michael Jackson's Thriller <laughs> music video, when he came out with the little, uh, with the little cane, mm-hmm. and then he just vomited, like, and then she's like, oh, I'll help you. And she's like, hugging him. I'm like, dude, like, I'm over here just like, man, maybe keep your distance, like, you don't know if this is contagious. Like he said, this could be contagious. You're over there just like hugging oh, her, her, her ex boyfriend. Yeah, right. He said that. No, well, Jeff Goldblum said to her like when she was there, like this could oh. be contagious. So she, he even warned her, and she's over there like, no, I'll help you. It's like, dude, you're so dumb. Like, maybe True. keep your distance. Like you don't know. You know what um, he has. Oh, you just don't know what he has. She's like I'd keep my distance. I wouldn't touch the guy. It's a lot of the woman's flings that they had, I guess. Yeah, that was um, a little. That was one of those things where it just I'm thinking in the back of my head, like, what are you doing? Like, you whatever you're doing is just kind of dumb. But whatever. Uh, other than those two things, I think um, the pacing was good because I remember you asked me if this was going to be a snoozer, and I was like, dude, I don't know. I've never seen the movie. I and it yeah. didn't seem like it was a snoozer. Like it kept me pretty. Uh, uh, my attention like, oh, the yeah. whole time, even though it's just like very few characters in the but movie. But let me ask you this, Trace: Would you classify this as a horror movie? I think I would classify it like as a body horror, because there's definitely people like, like myself or anybody really that would you know you start growing shit like you're gonna get freaked out, you're right. gonna start thinking the worst, and now I'm gonna start thinking I'm gonna turn into a fly or something, you know. Yeah. So there's definitely people that have like a lot of fear of. That that's why it's called body horror, I guess. 
um i think that's what i would classify the movie Why i think it old? feels like falls into the same category as like the thing because the thing is that's body. what it is it's like body horror like this weird mutated thing that could potentially infect a human and then the human starts like you know tentacles and shit and stuff like that true ah uh, yeah it's not like scary like I think there's some jump scares but not anything crazy like that yeah yeah it's more like yeah just grotesque yeah. I felt like there's more grotesque like gore and gore and grotesque shit. type of stuff it's not like one um <laughs> Like, what's a good creepy movie? Like, Blair Witch, you said, and, like, Paranormal Activity. I think those are, like, creepy. Where, right. Little things are happening on the, like, the side of the, like, of the camera where you're, like, you're looking and you're like, whoa, that's kind of creepy. Right. Um, and, um, yeah, this was more, to me, this was more, like, grotesque. Um, yeah. And, but, man, dude, those, like I said, those prosthetics and the makeup, paint on point. Props to the team. Yeah, I, yeah, the, everything was. I really, I liked everything in the movie, man. That scene, man, where his nails are falling off. Oh, oh yeah. man! You know, ah. you know that reminded me of um, of District Nine. Right, right. I think because maybe I think they probably copied that scene where he's like nails are falling off. So that took a lot of influence from this one. I, could probably. Be. That's another good movie where it's like kind of like body horror because he's turning into this freaking uh, prawn but right. instead of body horror they kind of took it into like an action direction action movie direction right that's pretty cool yeah um, man yeah, yeah props props to the the guy who did the prosthetics the makeup prosthetics man um that guy did a, an amazing job i'm pretty sure a lot of the not a lot of the budget but i'm pretty sure they they wanted to get like whoever the best guy was during that time to get to do that because it looked super dope and because you really think about it there's only three real major characters um jeff goldblum the veronica veronica and then the x so they carried in the movie and told the story so uh, like a simple story but they made it so good so good man that was such a good movie seven out of ten Seven out of ten, man. I give it like a, I give it like an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, yeah. It was dope. Oh yeah, well, yeah, seven. Seven out of ten. <laughs> All right, man. Very well, grotesque. That's gonna be it for uh, this video. Uh, the Fly, in 1986. Seems like the 80s had some dope, dope horror, body horror movies also. Um. So the next one we're going to watch is probably going to be Hellraiser 2. Uh, unless we think of another other movies that we haven't seen that are horror that we haven't seen already. Like I said, when people know more than we do, of oh, they, they recommend any... Not like mainstream stuff, though, because we probably if they recommend mainstream stuff, we've probably seen it already. Oh, yeah. If there's like something that is kind of niche, I guess, I don't know. Yeah. Like something that you think would, you know, that's scary, then let us know. But like mainstream stuff, we've probably seen it. Most likely. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, man. So we'll see everybody else in the next one. All right. Peace.